I've had this water feature here for about a season and I really like it. So I wanna make it a more permanent fixture in my garden and I'm going to mix some mortar and lay these stones back in around the pond. I'm gonna mix my mortar now. I've got a bag of quickcrete here and I'm just gonna mix up half of the bag first. It's an 80 pound bag of concrete, so imagine with water, it's very heavy. So I wanna just start with half. Now, this contains lime, so you definitely wanna make sure that you've got your safety goggles on. I have fashionable safety goggles and gloves on. Uh, I have mixed a lot of concrete in my day, let me tell you. And it doesn't get any easier, but it is fun. This is the test to make sure that your mortar is properly mixed. You wanna grab it and see how it's just staying firmly on the trowel here. If it came down like a liquidy mess off of this trowel, then you know that it's too loose. Now I'm just gonna dump the concrete. Looks like I'm gonna need quite a bit. Now that we've got the concrete mixed, we really wanna jam and do this quickly, as quickly as possible. If I put too much cement, the weight of the rock is just gonna allow it to sink down. And you wanna go through and you just want to put your mortar in between each rock and then just smooth it out the way I'm doing. The pond's almost finished filling up, and while it does that, I'm gonna finish replanting my raised bed. I've just gotta go through and mulch this bed, but before I do, I wanna turn on my pump and see if Mr. Froggy is working. Yes! Success, it works! My pond works. Ah, oh, I had such a great day today. I really hope that you try and install one of these ponds yourself. If you wanna know how to install this exact pond, check out my video on GardenGirlTV.com. I'm Patty Moreno, the Garden Girl. Thanks for watching.